What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO DC Super Villains video. So in today's video I'm of course going to be showing you guys how to make Agent Venom using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so to start off with we're of course going to head into appearance, head, head and then head again and you're going to scroll all the way to the top until you find Custom Head 6. Now you can see here this is basically the classic LEGO heads that you used to see back in the day with the black eyes and we want to get rid of the black eyes by making in the head black then once you've done that you're going to go to accessories and you want to choose eye mask one in white it should be white by default anyway but just make sure now you can see here we can still see the mouth so you want to go to neck pieces and cover the mouth up with a face scarf now then we're also going to go to attachments and we're going to get the epaulette and make that black nice now then onto the body because of course we don't need a helmet and we don't need any hair pieces so for the body we're going to go for preset body and you're going to scroll all the way to the top until you find death storm's body in white then once you've done that you're going to back out of there go into arms both arms and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find huntress's arms and you can see here we're going to make them black because it's got the white on the top half of the arms there which looks very cool you're also going to make the hands black as well now then for the hips obviously there's a lot of belts to choose from in the character customizer and not everyone is going to have the TV villains DLC pack but personally I think Vigilante's belt is perfect but like I said lots of other belts to choose from if you don't have that DLC and finally for the legs we're going to go with Adam Strange you want to make sure that the first color is white and the second color is black nice looking very very cool indeed now then on to the effects so we don't need a left hand glow or a right hand glow but for the hit impact effects we're going to turn that on make sure it's style one and of course we're going to go with black and we're also going to do the same for the jump slam effects as well so we're going to make it black and of course make sure that it is style one nice now then on to the abilities so we don't need to add any abilities to the tag button but for the jump button we're going to go to double tap x double jump turn that on and we'll go with jump style 4 so you can do flips in the air like that and of course we're also going to add the hyper jump ability because that is awesome now i left tap square and hold square but on tap circle we're of course going to give agent venom explosives so we're going to go ahead and make that black yes i know it is actually pies but if you make it black it kind of looks like a grenade or something like that so i just think it gives him a little bit more firepower nice now then on to the skills now, like I always say when I make Spider-Man in LEGO DC Super Villains, obviously there's no webs, there's no web shooters, web swinging, or anything like that. So instead, what we're going to do is give Agent Venom a grapple gun. So we're going to turn that on, make sure that the grapple gun color is black so it blends in with the rest of the symbiote. Then you're going to go to rope type, make sure it's rope type 4, and you're, of course, going to go ahead and make sure that the rope color is white. So you can see there, it kind of looks like a web. Yes, it's coming out of a grapple gun, but it's a nice little reference to the fact that that character can do that in the comics now then for the rest of the skills we're going to leave technology but we're of course going to give him acrobatics no mind control no telekinesis wall climbing yes smash walls yes super strength yes we don't need any of these tracking we'll go ahead and turn that on make it blue maybe yep that looks cool we don't need graffiti we don't need illumination we'll go with hazard protection and of course we'll go with stealth as well nice now then on to the personality so for the health icon you definitely want to go with black for the health type i'm just going to go with standard health because even though in the comics agent venom of course has an accelerated healing factor he's not exactly invulnerable so i just think it would be wrong to give him this ability in this game so i'm just going to stick with standard health for the voice just choose any male voice for the speed go with normal for the target Reticle, you definitely want to go with Mercy Graves and then for the animation we're of course going to go with Martial Artist because even though we're going to give him two weapons he's still going to be able to perform the Martial Artist animation attacks which are really cool. Now then onto the weapons. So of course we're going to scroll down to guns, gun type and you could pretty much choose anything in here that would fit Agent Venom basically. You could go from say the pistol to maybe the machine gun but personally I love the scoped pistol. I love the idea of giving Agent Venom as much fire power as possible so I'm gonna go with the scope pistol we're gonna put it in both hands and of course for the color usually what I would suggest is make it dark gray but I thought that stood out too much for this character for me so I just went ahead and made it black because I thought that looked really really cool all right so we have done the appearance the abilities the personality and the weapons so now all we need to do is fill in the basic information so for the status we'll put hero for the affiliation we'll put unknown and then for the name we're of course gonna name him 
agent. There we go. Venom. Nice. All right, cool. So now, of course, what we're going to do is drop Agent Venom into the hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is! This is, of course, my custom-made Agent Venom made in LEGO DC Supervillains. Let's just get a good look at him right here. Now, I'm pretty happy with the way that this character turned out. Obviously, it looks so much better if we could actually add a spider symbol to the front and the back of the torso, but unfortunately, that's just not an option. So aside from that, I think he looks really cool. So anyway, what can he do? Well, when you give a character two guns, unfortunately, they can't perform the specific jump animations, but he can still do the double jump in the air. He just can't do flips, but... That's still pretty cool. We can also pick up this forklift and chuck it over here like that thanks to our super strength, which is awesome. In combat, we have martial arts, so we can attack like this, and we can also leave a crack in the ground. Of course, we can't forget his two awesome guns here, so he can shoot like this, just like normal, or he can do my preferred method, which I absolutely love, where you just point and he just shoots at anything in sight, and that is just super cool. We've also got the explosive pies, but we're going to pretend that they are basically grenades, because it just gives Flash a few more weapons basically to be able to use in combat which is really cool and it obviously makes him a little bit more useful as well and finally of course we have the hyper jump ability but before I forget as a bonus for this video I thought what would be cool is if I showed you guys the Thunderbolts Asian Venom as well look at him right here I think he turned out really cool. So you can see that it's basically just a reskin. It's just red with a few little changes here and there. You can see I changed the arms as well. But he looks awesome. So if you want to play as Thunderbolts Agent Venom, then there you go. That is how you do it. It's that design right there. If you guys would like a tutorial on how to make that specific version instead of me just showing it, then just let me know and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, let's actually go fight the police as Agent Venom. Here we go. We're going to hyper jump. Nice. So obviously I absolutely love the character of Agent Venom. I just think Flash Thompson is so unique compared to other hosts of the symbiote. Of course you got Peter Parker, the amazing Spider-Man, Eddie Brock who became Venom, Cletus Cassidy who was a serial killer even before he became Carnage, Mac Gargan who was obviously the Scorpion who became Venom for some time, and then you've got Flash who is more famous for being Peter Parker's bully in the movies and the comics and everything, but then he turned his life around and became Agent Venom. He uses the symbiote for good and I think that's really cool. I'm honestly surprised we've never seen a movie with that character. I mean, with, with all the incarnations of Flash Thompson, none of them have became Agent Venom. Obviously, the original in the original Sam Raimi movies, that actor obviously couldn't become uh, Agent Venom because that character didn't exist at the time, that iteration of Venom. But, uh, you know, you could have seen it in The Amazing Spider-Man. I believe they might have had a plan for that, but obviously it never panned out. And obviously I would love to see Agent Venom in the MCU, but I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately, because Sony's, you know, heavily into Venom at the moment with their Sony Cinematic Universe of Marvel characters, or whatever it's called. So unfortunately we probably won't see that. But that would be awesome. I mean, like I said, we've got the Thunderbolts Venom here. Imagine if someday in the MCU we get to see Agent Venom team up with Red Hulk, Baron Zemo, maybe Ghost maybe yellow jacket I mean the possibilities there are endless it would be awesome that would be an incredible film I just want to see Agent Venom on the big screen. I think it's more likely that we'll probably see Agent Venom in a Sony handled film. So not obviously anything to do with the MCU. More than likely, I think we might see him in Spider-Verse 2. I do think that's quite possible. Um, there's actually like concept art, I believe, of um, Spider-Verse. Uh, you know, that scene in the trailers where it shows all the things Peter's done. And it's kind of lots of references to the Raimi movies. Basically, I, I believe there's like a deleted shot in that where it's shows Spider-Man fighting Venom. So I guess that kind of confirms that he has fought Venom in that universe. So Agent Venom is definitely a possibility. But even so, even if it's not a possibility in that universe, they could always take him from another one because obviously it's all about Spider-Verse. So I think that would be interesting. I mean, they're definitely going all in with Spider-Verse after the massive success it's had. Of course, we're getting the female spin-off with Spider-Woman and a bunch of other female uh, Spider-Woman characters, which should be very cool. So it'll be exciting to see characters like Agent Venom and stuff like that make an appearance at some point. Maybe Kane. Kane would be cool too. Like the Scarlet Spiders, Kane, Ben Riley. That would be awesome. But we'll have to wait and see. I just want to see Agent Venom in a movie already. He's such an awesome character. He's always fun to play as in the video games and everything. It'll be interesting to see if maybe he'll appear in uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. Maybe instead of doing Venom for a third time, they'll actually go with Agent Venom just to mix it up a bit. Give you a character with guns and stuff like that. 
Although we've got Nick Fury. I'm not sure if he's going to be playable. It, from the trailer, it makes it look like he might be because he's, you know, standing with all the other heroes. But he'll probably have guns and stuff like that you'll be able to use in the game. Take that. There we go. Nice. A lot of people have been asking me to make classic Venom, obviously, in this game, and I would love to. It's just at the moment, I don't think there's a lot of pieces that allow me to make a decent enough recreation. Because like I always say in these videos, I don't like to show my custom characters unless I'm... Uh, if I'm not happy with them, I don't like to show them, basically. That's, that's uh, pretty much the gist of it. So I have tried making Venom, and at the moment I'm not satisfied with the way he looks. I just think it's not good enough, so that's why I decided to make Agent Venom, because I think he turned out really good. I think he looks really, really cool. But of course, you know, like I say, like I always say, even though I can't like make a very good uh, classic Venom at the moment, I am waiting for hopefully some better pieces to get added via DLC to allow me to make a much more accurate version of the character. Because I mean, I think that is definitely possible with LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. There were a lot of things that I wanted to make that I couldn't originally, and then when the DLCs came along, it just opened up so many more possibilities. And I'm sure the same will apply to this once more packs come out. Because at the moment, we've only had Aquaman ones, and the CW one, and uh, I believe... The, both of the CW ones and the Justice League Dark. So there's not a whole lot to pick from at the moment because ob obviously we've got Young Justice, Batman the Animated Series, both the Shazam packs and the DC Films character packs. So there's still a lot to come that will hopefully really help in making uh, other characters that we can't make at the moment. So that should be good. I'm very excited to see what else we'll be able to make in time. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon and as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.